today. All right, something real quick for you. If you have a gold IRA, I'm you know I hear ad after ad for people to buy gold. You know, a, a lot of people they think, oh, buy gold, like you know, go to the store and buy coins or bars or whatever. A lot of these companies, when you start, when you reach out to them, what they want you to do is move your old 401k. They want you to move your IRA into a precious metals IRA. My the the good news about that. Look how much money you've made. I mean, you know, look at the Dow, the S and P. Look at these things versus gold and silver the last year. So, the, you know, they've definitely had a good growth trajectory this year. My problem. So, you you move everything into a gold IRA. The reason you do that is because the world reserve currency is getting rid of the dollar. You know, the the fiat currency obviously it's on its way out. So, the inflation is problematic. So, gold and silver. Store of value, God's money. I understand the the thought behind gold and silver. My problem is, if things go south, if you if the stock market collapses, good for you. You've got a gold IRA. Your account should not collapse. It's an inverse thought. The problem is, you know, if things get really bad, which we, where I kind of lean you toward on the show that it could. What what? How are you going to get your gold? I mean, if we have civil unrest, if we go to World War Three. And you call your precious metals dealer and say, I need, and now is the time. I want to take physical possession of my metals. Now is the time. Are they going to be there? Are they going to answer their phone? I mean, you know. Well, aren't it, you helping somebody with that now? And times are pretty good. And didn't you have a huge hassle factor with that? It, it, it took a little while. It was a little more in depth than I thought. There were, there were more forms. The forms were a little complex. Yeah. And, and the, the key is helped. We're done now. So the the client actually took possession of the precious metals and life is good. So, and then you have to decide when you take it out. I mean, are you going to pay the taxes and just make it, you know, non-qualified portfolio? I'm going to say yes on a couple of reasons. One, when you have this physical metals, you don't want to, you know, keep a third party administrator. You don't want to keep the record keeping of an IRA. You, you, you know, you want to get away from the government. Part of why people buy gold and silver is because the government is mismanaging the inflation, the fiat currency, all this stuff. So you want to take possession of your metals. I would say you carve out, pardon the pun, enough to pay the taxes. And then, you know, and by the way, I mean, Bernie Sanders in the White House, you know, still with his mittens and chair working on Medicare for all, our tax bracket across the the board, if we go to Medicare for all, will be 60 to 65%. So I'd rather see you pay taxes at your current bracket, 22%, 28%, whatnot. So yeah, I did help somebody and that person feels much better and I feel much better for that person. And and you know, the, the client is diversified. The client has insurance product money. Client has hard assets. The client has stocks and bonds. The client has got everything covered. So this person has hedged their bets and I feel better for them. But having that gold is a big relief.